Hello and welcome to the ultimate fun rock guide. You're going to need, honestly, your big boy pants if you really want to get the very fast time on killing this in the elite raid and normal difficulty. If you want to follow the strategy, I'm going to showcase. I'm going to go over all the abilities that you're actually going to need to worry about and obviously showcase the gameplay strategy on how to kill. So if you want to share this around to your alliance members who may not know how to do this, or if you're a new player, by the end of this, you are honestly going to be an expert. So let's get into today's guide on the Thunder Rock. Hello guys, yes, smash like button and subscribe for more daily videos with me, Mr. Sneaky, the one and only official of Color Dragons content creator. And I'm here with the Big Bird KFC Zinger Burger Special Thunder Rock, right? We're going to try and explain, if you're a new player, experienced player, basically the best strat, hands down, that I've ever been a participant of in order to kill this thing. And honestly, if you're going to do this, you're going to need to bring your big boy pants, like I said in the intro, right? So what I'm going to just quickly explain is in Season 1, your behemoth is going to be a little bit different to the Season 2 and onwards. And all I mean by that is when we click onto the Season 2 onwards icon, you'll notice the electric blast. And we'll showcase that in the ability section in a moment, what these this means. But it basically targets free mob people, which is a bit of a nuisance, but you won't have to worry about it if you follow my strategy. Honestly, this is an insane strategy that I was able to be part of. And I want to do give a big props and shout out to the FS the raid leader, Tiny, who did host the entire raid at that time. So let's go into the abilities and then the strategy on how to speed run and kill this thing in Call of Dragons. And welcome to the ability section. So this is the easy thing that we need to go over with the Thunder Rock. We are going to explain quickly the tank stuff. So you need to dodge these first three abilities down here. It's nice and simple. You're going to take some shrapnel damage. This is nothing. But the Gathering Storm, you want to dodge. It's just a big air of effect. It's very signature. But you need to dodge it, right? What we need to talk about, though, is basically all of these abilities that I'm going to click on, which is Fallback, into Scatter, into Saw, right? These are all basically tied into one mechanic and as the, you can see in the gameplay above the way the mechanic is supposed to be intended to be played is you are supposed to go to one of four segments which we'll explain and get these healing stones and by going to those healing stones the next two areas that you haven't got unlocks and then you can get those two and then the thunder rock will obviously drop and it goes into a dps phase and it's rinse and repeat but we're going to showcase a very quick, fast-paced strategy in order to actually maximize this so you guys can actually kill this thing so quick. So let's actually go into the strategy on how you can kill the Thunder Rock the fastest in Cog Dragons. So the Thunder Rock strategy, we need to obviously break down quickly the elite stuff just in case you are looking forward or looking for the elite information before going into the gameplay side. So all the basics that you're going to need to know. And like I said, we are going to try and skip a lot of it if we can with the speed strat. But you're going to have that 25% increase on HP, attack and defense. Also, the tank is basically going to be suffering a little bit more because they're going to take 100% more damage, meaning double the damage they would normally take. So you need a really good tank in order to make sure you keep that aggro and obviously survive. And then after entering the battle, this behemoth attack is increased by 10% every 60 seconds. So you do want to kind of get this thing killed because again for the tank you are going to get suffered more and more damage as this goes on and then when the legions are hit with a gathering storm while in water the thunder rock will cast electro discharge on the water so basically anytime any of its moves are generally going to hit the water you're going to get the discharge but again with this strategy that we're going to showcase in a moment you should be able to bypass all this if you guys do it all correctly. And then to top everything off in the Elite Raid info that you're going to need, again, this is just the Elite Raid frame. You're going to need 6 minutes and 30, and make sure you're the first alliance in your server in order to get this frame done on the Elite Raid difficulty within the timer. If you are the second place, and again, you might have done it in the time, guess what? You're not going to get the frame. It's only for the first come, first serve. So now, let's get into the gameplay side.
And welcome to the gameplay section. So this is where we're going to go over the full strategy right now because when we go into it, it's going to shock you, right? And you won't believe it when I go over it. So I'm going to explain the fast strategy first and then after I'm also going to explain the normal strategy, right? So here is the fast strategy. If you have got a very good alliance and you're on voice and you're very coordinate and you are very committed to it, this will always work. So how this is, is you will split your team of 40 members, because it's a 40 member raid located at the top. You will split them evenly into 10, 10, 10, and 10. This is the most important thing in this fast strategy. Because what you're gonna be doing in this is at all times, if you can, stay in your quadrant. Because when it gets to the phase when this bird will shoot some electric into any of these two zones, you are going to tank that damage, which sounds crazy, because you are able to tank it even as a T4 player. You will tank that damage and immediately get the healing stone as soon as it spawns. By doing that, all four zones instantly get that done at the same time, meaning, as you can imagine, all 40 players basically skip this phase really, really quickly, and once you get into the DPS phase, you will walk just onto land, and we'll explain why in a moment, because we need to showcase it, right? So that is the fast strategy, and that's what this gameplay is gonna be, right? If you're not coordinated like this, and I'm gonna go over now the quick, a rundown on the normal strategy what you're supposed to do is when this bird again blocks two zones so you'll notice the map is split up into these four different quadrants right once this bird has knocked out two of these zones with electricity what you're supposed to do is make sure your troops are located on one of these two fronts because then when it knocks you back, you're gonna grab these two stones. And then once you've grabbed those two, what will happen is the bird will then knock out these two, allowing you automatically to grab these two stones. And then you can DPS down the bird. Nice and simple, right? Nothing crazy. So that's just how you're supposed to do it. But let's go into the actual gameplay side and follow through on it, right? So now we're gonna showcase the fast, strategy and i'm telling you guys this is super goddamn quick on getting this bird killed so it's all about commitment and everyone understanding the job right so remember this ability is the charged one that we don't want to be near so make sure you're out of the area of effect and obviously not taking that damage once you've gone through that you're going to see him doing some weird stuff obviously the aggro has been dropped but the tank the tank's done a fantastic job and he's pulling the bird back into the center. It needs to get as close to the center as possible just to make things speed up as fast as it can. And now this is what we're talking about. So as you can see during this phase, these two balls are coming down, right? We can see this one's in mid air and this one's about to land. So if you're doing the normal strategy right now, what you're supposed to do, as I just said earlier, is actually make sure your troops, so all, all your members, so you'd have 20 here and 20 here, are all obviously in these two safe zones, because then you don't take damage, right? But we're not gonna do that. This is the fast strategy. So what you're gonna do is tank this damage. I know it's gonna sound a bit crazy, but you're gonna tank it because as soon as you do this, you're gonna get knocked up into this area and look, you can grab the healing stones instantly. It's gonna take just a couple of seconds, but there they are. And by doing that, it all clears up. You get the healing stones all together. Look at this, beautifully done. And obviously it goes to fire one of the electrics and you just walk out of it. And by walking out of it, look, no one has been targeted even with the electrical blast because you've actually completed the phase so quick, right? And that's the really good thing about doing it this way. And you can see now we're going into the DPS and killing down the bird. What I want to do though is just showcase before we finish off this kill, going back into this phase, right? 
because normally what will occur during this phase is three members and additionally more during the elites or the season two targets right you will get basically three players targeted so you could have these two and maybe this one right and what those players need to do and you'll know if you have a target because your match gets this big red marker above the red like a little red dot so you'll know if you've got the target if you have this and you're not doing the fast strategy please run to the center no matter what because if you don't get to the center you will kill all of your alliance members and i'm going to showcase a very quick clip of that over the top right about now And yeah, it is brutal. You don't want that to happen to you guys, honestly. So what you want to do is make sure you, if you do get that target, that little red marker, you get into the land zone. But once you fulfill the mechanic of those four healing stones, you're going to be DPSing down the bird. And it's just as easy as that, guys. That is honestly the Thunder Rock raid done and complete. And you're going to see us, guys. We're at 1 minute 50 and it's at 1.8 million it's going to do the big AoE. You can see us already moving out of it to make sure no one is taking damage. But some of the players kind of took it, which is a bit sad. You can see poor Madara dying, unfortunately, to that. But everyone's got all of their artifact damage back up. Everything's chunking it down now. And this is where you normally see a lot of the damage come through when the artifacts do come up. But here we go. We've got the phase again. And look, we're just repeating what we've just done. So you can see now we're healing all of the things. It's about to fire it. And it's in midair. And look, we've already done the phase. That is the strategy of doing it this way. And I hope it makes sense. It's nice and simple. If you do it this way, it just takes coordination from your alliance members to, in order to do it. And it's fast as hell if you do it like this. And honestly, big props. And like I say, shout out to Tiny for coordinating and obviously telling everyone what to do and obviously giving obviously voice comms shout outs throughout. And by doing that, look at this. We're already at three minutes with only 500k left to go, basically. Not even that, 440,000. And we're going to kill this thing. I don't know if this will be a world record attempt. We probably need T5, all T5 to get it faster. But by doing this route, look at this. We're on at 3 minutes and 15 seconds. Zero. We just have to wait for that obvious animation to be complete. But by doing so, we have finished the elite raid of the Thunder Rock and have showcased all of what you guys honestly need to do in order to kill this thing and get that elite Thunder Rock raid frame for yourselves and if even just kill the normal Thunder Rock so you own it as your alliance behemoth weapon for PvP open field, right? So I hope this helped you guys. You know what to do. Smash the like, comment, and subscribe. Share this about, maybe show your alliance members this video and they will obviously learn everything that they need to do in order to do this strap perfectly and if they do congratulations and i want to hear your comments and the victory is in below right so until then and until the next video guys stay safe stay sneaky and peace out